everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Marinola. My last video was uh, about my wardrobe essentials for winter and one of you commented that I forgot to mention shoes. Um, I didn't. It's such a big part of our wardrobes. Also part that we kind of neglect sometimes when we style when we plan our outfits and a part that we, uh, I feel like most of us struggle, I mean included. So I thought I will just uh, create a separate video where I will just talk about my shoes and what are the best shoes to style with certain trousers, the skirts, etc. First of all, when we pick shoes, we look at two different things, color and fit. And fit is a little bit more complex, so I'll leave that for later. So uh, the most common, the most popular and the most safe uh, color is black, of course. And it is my favorite color for my shoes in my wardrobe. And if you are like me and majority of your clothes or your basic elements of your wardrobe are in black, it's actually a good choice because everything will go with your shoes, your bags, your jackets, your coats and very often your trousers or tops as well. But I must say, if you uh, want to introduce some colours or light shades, neutrals into your wardrobe or you want to, um, you want to create a little bit more interesting outfit, it is a good idea to bring different color shoes and I specifically mean uh, something like beige, cream, grey, it all depends on the color palette you have in your wardrobe but something light, something that will go with most of your clothes of course. The light color of your boots can make a dramatic difference to your wardrobe. Suddenly you'll realize that your wardrobe is more versatile you can create a lot of different new outfits that you couldn't only because that one simple element. Now I'm talking about uh, light color boots but I myself don't own any. I'm very picky especially after few unsuccessful purchases in the past but also I have very specific things I like and I dislike and it's very hard to find the one. <laughs> So I just decided to wait until that perfect pair of boots will come my way. <laughs> but I made a first step towards the light uh, boots for winter and I got a pair of uh, high top converse in a really nice beigey um, cream colour. Now here is a part which I think we struggle the most with, which is picking the right shoes for your outfit. And I'm still talking about the color. I always go one of three directions. So number one is going for the same or the closest color to the bottoms I'm wearing. For example, you're wearing black trousers, black shoes. Navy trousers, black shoes. A cream skirt, cream, uh, off-white or brown shoes. Second one is a very well-known sandwich method, but in a very general sense. So you reflect the color of your top in your shoes. In my case, it's very easy because my tops are usually or almost always in one color. So cream or beige uh, jumper, I would go for my cream Converse, for example. Black jumper would go great with black shoes. Now, if you have a two-tone jumper, or you have some kind of pattern, or you have a stripy jumper with three colors, for example. So you try to find a pair of shoes that go with one of the colors in the, in the pattern. So there's always gonna be some kind of communication and it's gonna be very harmonious. And the third direction is going for shoes that are in contrast with your outfit. So that would be um, very often the case when you're wearing an all black outfit, an all white, or just any other color, or you have a dress that is in one block color. So for example, you have a black knitted dress and cream boots, or maybe you have a green boots. 
that's awesome. Now this method always works when you make sure you stick to three colors in your outfit. So there's always harmony, everything goes nicely together, everything is balanced. So even if you go for contrasting shoes, that is only gonna, gonna be your third color. Now I'll talk about my shoes uh, that I have in my wardrobe and I wear on a daily basis. And I'll tell you about uh, certain rules I follow or things that make me more comfortable with certain fit. And I'll just explain my thought process, um, why I pair them together with certain things and why I wouldn't, for example. I'm gonna start with my Chelsea boots. Something that is relatively new to my wardrobe, but it has become a really huge staple. Chunky, but on a slimmer side of the chunkiness. They could be more chunky, that would give me more uh, balance to my very often oversized top or my bigger coats, my puffer jacket, but I can still style them, it's not a deal breaker. So, in my opinion, a medium chunky boot, a Chelsea boot, is a very good pair of shoes to have for winter. It's very versatile, it's very practical, very practical, and it can be flattering if you style them properly. They won't look good with everything, just like any other shoe. I don't believe that you can just get one pair of boots for the winter and wear them with everything. I don't think such pair exists and I don't think our wardrobe would be interesting and versatile enough anyway. The really important part of these shoes is the ankle part. The slimmer, the better. And I, I don't mean tight, because you still need space for your socks, maybe two socks, maybe very chunky socks. You know, and you need space for the air, for insulation, so your feet keep warm. My favorite uh, bottoms to style with my Chelsea boots are cropped trousers and here very important detail is that they are cropped enough so you can see the slim ankle. When you put your trousers on just check if they fall in the right place. Pull them up slightly or maybe they are already very short, maybe they are too short, maybe your ankle boot is not long enough and then you have the gap and first of all, I don't think that would look really good but also you will be cold. Now, if you have a long enough sock in the same color of your shoe, you can create an illusion of a longer boot. Oh, and the important thing about your cropped trousers is that they are a bit wider. I wouldn't wear them with something like cigarette trousers, your proper office trousers that stay really close to your leg. Something wider, something cropped, so you can see the slim part of your uh, boot. We can apply the same rule to your straight leg jeans or slightly wider jeans. And I wouldn't worry about the jeans being uh, a bit tighter, but not skinny jeans. I'm not talking about skinny jeans. Just nice straight leg, again a little bit loose. It just looks better to our eye, so we don't have too many lines. I wear them with my white jeans, which granted are a bit too long, and I don't enjoy that, I need to take them to a tailor. Yes, they are a bit too long, so I would either just fold them, or what I really like, because I was Mm, kind of fixated on the length and I was trying to create a little bit slimmer leg. I tucked the jean in the elasticated band of the shoe, in the front, in the front only. So they look a little bit punk rock, it really reminds me of my high school where almost everyone wore the same style, Doc Martens, skinny jeans, stuff like that. But then this is a little bit more sophisticated version of it. While you're on the subject of tucking your trousers in, there is another uh, pair of trousers I really like wearing specifically with these boots. A pair of wool trousers, really nice, good quality trousers I got from Arquettes uh, maybe last year in sale, but they are very high-waisted and tapered, very long but tapered. Not very much my style actually. I struggle sometimes with styling them and these boots are perfect for that because the trousers are long so I can actually tuck them in the shoes or better yet I would wear black socks and pull them over the trousers but again I would just tuck them in the front and leave the back as it is 
so it's slightly undone chic edgy but very interesting and the last item i would style these boots with are my skirts either mini or midi skirts they look really good together because as i said my chelsea boots are not too chunky they're not too grungy i feel like they go really well with uh, skirts and any skirt um, a leather skirt uh, just your standard mini skirt a midi skirt and either slip skirt or you can try if you have a pleated skirt i think they go together really nicely just in this case i would pay attention to the length of the skirt because pleated skirt is so voluminous at the bottom and it will be very visible there is a gap between the skirt and the boot uh, in general i said that before in my previous video i don't think this is an issue but specifically with the pleated skirt i i feel like it should be as long as possible. Still midi, but closer to your ankles than to your knee. If you're following me on my channel, you'll see that this is a very new pair to me. Well, very new. I think I got them in December. But they very quickly became one of my favorite shoes in general. These are leather high top converse in light gold. I was looking for a beige converse everywhere. I checked every color and to my knowledge there is no better option if you're looking for a beige converse. Also check your size and that was my mistake with converse that I tried last year. I was going for my usual size which is size 7, UK 7 and 40 uh, European. This one is 6.5. I just went half a size down. Why they work for me so well? They are very modern. They're not too chunky unless you go for the chunky sole. They resemble the shape of your foot and I think that's what I really like. And here it's going to be exactly the same rule as with my Chelsea boots and crop trousers. And now because I love my tailored trousers, but I like them in a certain fit. I like them more oversized, I like them a wide leg. Even if they cropped, I would never go for something slim. It shouts office and I don't want such clothes in my wardrobe. I want office inspired clothes, but in a more oversized and um, maybe slightly unusual uh, cut. Oh, my only thing with Converse, I don't know if you have the same problem, issue, I wish they were a bit taller because my cropped trousers, one of my favorite uh, navy trousers, I feel like they just uh, covered the shoe. I wish they were, um, you know, there was more space so in winter they would be a little bit warmer because I feel like leather converse, high top converse is made for autumn and winter so they should think of that but maybe they have their standard length and they just make everything the same way i don't know but yes i wish they were like this much taller here unlike the chelsea black boots i love them with wide leg trousers with full length trousers i think they were created to be worn together they look so good with wide leg trousers especially tailored trousers because you have this nice crisp elegant style paired with something like that. The wonderful thing about Converse is that they are not too casual. They are a bit more edgy, they're a bit more young. Any tailored trousers will go with these shoes. Either black or grey or beige or whatever colour you have. You know, if you have some crazy colours, maybe that beige wouldn't really go together. But um, I believe Converse have so many colors of the high top leather uh, shoes that you can find something for yourself, even just the uh, classic black. Now, I love them with my white jeans. Um, I think mainly because they create this very nice neutral tonal outfit. I would say any fit goes with, um, with your Converse, whether it's more fitted, wider just straight leg especially white jeans with a beige shoe i think just they just kind of come together they don't need too much styling next one up in my hierarchy is a pointed ankle boots kind of a sock boot because they come really close to my uh, ankle which is great and they have this western vibe because of the heel they work really well in my wardrobe and they have been for i think 
three years now. A classic ankle boot with quite a slim neck part, you know, the, the one around your ankle. Not too high heel, ideally pointed or rounded toe is the most practical, the most versatile and the most wearable uh, pair of shoes. Especially if you get, if the heel is more straight. I mostly wear them with my crop trousers and some oversized jumper or maybe um, a turtleneck, anything like that. But also when it gets a bit warmer with a shirt and a very simple, very classic outfit accessorized with some jewelry, it's always gonna work. They go great with jeans and to be honest, any style of jeans again because they are so close to my ankle. Again, I would say preferably if they fall over the shoe so you don't have that gap. It's just more pleasant to our eye, I think most of all. Uh, but I, was, I also don't feel comfortable when I'm wearing shoes with a pair of jeans or trousers and even before I sit down there is a gap. But they also look great with skirts. I would say midi skirts more than mini. You can pair them with something um, heavy and oversized on top, like a big oversized jumper and your midi skirt, either pleated skirt or sleep skirt. I wouldn't differentiate here. They both look great. Just again, pay attention to the length of the skirt. I just always feel like midi skirts should fall in your slimmest part of the leg, which is just above your ankle for anyone. Whatever size you are, whatever body shape you are, this is always a very flattering point of your leg and of your body in general. <laughs> I also wear them with um, a wide leg trousers. When I want to wear my trousers, but I want to look a little bit more put together, maybe I'm going to a dinner with my husband in the winter, you don't want to uh, think about your cold feet. So having a nice, elegant, but still casual enough uh, to walk uh, in uh, boots is a really good choice. The last boot that I have in my wardrobe is a pair of tall boots or knee boots, uh, knee high boots, however you call them. So I'm gonna be very honest with you, I, these are not my most worn boots, although they should be. This style of shoe for winter should be like every other day because they should be comfortable and uh, versatile and just easy to throw on with something when you, you know, it's cold and you just want to be cozy. They are very comfortable, I have no problem with that. The only problem is, I feel like my style has evolved. I used to love such boots, I used to uh, probably love them more on others than myself. So I want to wear them with my leggings, with my skinny jeans, which I wouldn't wear otherwise. That should be my comfort zone, but I always feel a little bit too dressed up and they feel a little bit too ladylike and grown up. I think they are perfect as they are and uh, they know the problem, it's me. If you love them, if, it, if they really go with your style, I highly recommend them. Having said all that, I still wear them, not as often as my Converse, for example, but I do wear them. And there are some things that really work with this style if you just want to make it work. Just pair them with a pair of really nice thick leggings or skinny jeans. With that, I would go for black, black jeans or washed black, something that just goes nicely with the color of the boot. But they also look really good with a mini skirt. Just go for something very oversized on top, something more masculine, maybe uh, your husband's, your partner's jumper. Something that will juxtapose the style of the shoe and the skirt. A knitted dress would be perfect for that. I don't have one, but I think a mini a knitted dress, quite simple, maybe boxy shape. I'm talking about the silhouette I prefer, but of course, if you're more of an hourglass and you want to accentuate your waist, uh, of course, go for that, go for a nice belt, and that will also look beautiful with the, with the boots. The last two pairs of shoes I wanted to show you that are not necessarily shoes for winter, but something that you can style on a slightly warmer day. For example, like today is five or six degrees, so these are my derbies which I have laces in them. These are my loafers. 
they both actually from the same shop in Poland. I'm afraid these are not available outside of Poland. These, you already know them, you saw them on my Instagram, in my previous videos. These are quite new actually and I really like them. Very interesting pair. They work in winter because of the chunkiness and because they can be worn with the sock. So they would work very much like your Chelsea boot, like your combat boot, with the help of the sock. So they can create very similar silhouettes if you want just one black, for example with the other pair, uh, then you just wear a black sock. But if you want to play with colors, with something more interesting, you can wear your cropped uh, black trousers, these derbies and uh, your glittery socks for example. With these, because they light, they kind of um, beige grey, I would say black sock or a very similar sock to the shoe, the top of the shoe. These work really well with my wide leg trousers, the full length, because they resemble a sneaker or a converse so even with your oversized trousers they don't feel bottom heavy because it's a light color so you can use that trick with any loafers or derbies to wear them in winter and then you can wear whatever sock you want because no one can see that right at least you can make more wear out of them and that's the whole point of the wardrobe and when it's a bit warmer you can absolutely wear them with skirts and dresses even now with midi or mini skirt with black tights i would still wear them because they just give you more of a school um, uniform if it's paired with mini skirt or more of a cool vibe with the midi skirts. Okay, so these are all my shoes and how I style them. As I said, this is just um, my style. It's how I like to wear my shoes and how I like to balance sometimes my outfit with the shoes. Oh, let me know in the comments um, what is your most versatile and the most practical shoe for winter. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and see you in the next video. Bye!